Hello, students. Welcome to uh, Georgian Theory Concepts, an educational uh, institute, a consultant. Okay? So, Georgian Theory Concepts. All right? So, today we are going to look at the concepts of quality costs. All right? by Mr. George Olusiesi himself, the senior lecturer of the uh, consults, okay? Now, let's get started. What is quality cost? Quality costs are costs associated with preventing, detecting, and remediating product issues related to quality, okay? Uh, the classification of quality costs uh, basically, quality costs is classified into two, namely uh, conformance costs and non-conformance costs. Then the conformance costs is sub-classified into two also. We have the prevention costs and the appraiser costs. Like the conformance costs, the non-conformance cost is also classified, uh, is also sub-classified into two namely the internal failure cost and external failure cost okay now let's start with prevention cost what is prevention cost it's nothing but costs incurred to ensure that defective products that is the bad products are minimized in production process and prevented at the earlier stage of production at the earliest stage of production, okay? So that is prevention cost. So all costs you have been killed in order to prevent, in order to minimize bad products at the earliest stage uh, is called prevention cost, from that word prevention, okay? Examples of prevention cost includes Quality training for engineers. Students should take note of that. Write it down. Hiring a supply chain expert to coordinate with suppliers. Okay, write it down. Take note of that. Then we have carrying out a complete quality audit. Quality audit to ensure that our product is of quality. Okay, it's the best, you know, to bring out the best from the products right then lastly cost of installing software to gather more accurate data on a quality management okay so this is this is one of the aspects of quality cost one of the components of quality cost and these are the components of prevention cost okay take note of that so let's go to the next one we are still on conformance cost conformance cost so Another component of conformance cost is the appraiser cost, as you can see on the slide. What is appraiser cost? Appraiser costs are costs incurred to identify defective products, that is the bad products, before they are shipped off. Okay? Appraiser, you know, in other words, they, it has to do with inspection. You know, when the products are made, there, is, there should be an officer that will inspect the products, okay? So that is inspection. And that inspection will include inspecting raw materials to be used. It will come, it will inspect the work in progress. Then after the completion of the production, the finished goods, it will come to inspect that too, okay? That is uh, appraiser cost. So the cost of doing all these things the cost in kill in carrying out all this exercise will constitute appraiser cost in the above examples appraiser cost will include number one the salary salaries of inspection staffs okay take note of that write it down maintenance and utility of inspection equipment replacement of inspection equipment okay replacement of inspection equipment. So all this will constitute appraiser costs, 
All right. Now, let's go to non-conformance cost. Like I told you, I said the non-conformance cost constitutes, number one, internal failure cost and external failure cost. So let's look at internal failure cost. Okay? What is internal failure cost? It's nothing but cost incurred on defective units before they are identified for shipment before the products, the finished product, move into the hand of customers, okay, within the department, within the organization, you detect that they are bad, okay? That is internal failure cost, all right? This cost represents the direct materials, the labor and manufacturing overhead consumed on the bad products, on the defective products. Okay, on the defective products. This includes spoilage of materials that generates the defective products. Okay, cost of scrap units. All right, costs of disposing of the scrap items and spoiled material. And sorry, and spoiled materials. You know, you must have paid the labor for producing. This defective unit. So the cost of labor, the overhead consume. Probably you must have consumed electricity. Okay, you must have consumed power, lights. Okay, fueling for bringing out the bad products. All right. So your assumption is that you want to produce good products, but unfortunately, defective products or units comes out of the production process. So. The cost you have incurred before then, they are that relates to the bad products. They constitute internal failure. All right, internal failure. Now, the next aspect of non-conformance cost, non-conformance, is called okay. We 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 have the last one, production destruction, due to defective units. Production. So take note of that. Write it down. Production disruptions due to defective units. All right, so let's look at external failure cost. That is one another component of non-conformance cost. Don't forget, quality costs can be segmented into two. We have the conformance cost and the non-conformance cost. The, the conformance cost, okay, can be further segmented into two. We have uh, the prevention cost and the appraisal cost. Then. The non-conformant cost segmented into two. We have the internal, which we just spoke about. Now we want to look at external failure cost. The external failure cost. External failure cost are cost associated with defective units, which are shipped to customers. Okay. External failure costs are the most expensive in that. They result in loss of repute, expensive warranty, and repair cost, and in worst case may result in legal action. In legal action, so students should take note of that. So when you talk of external failure cost, it's very very expensive. By the time you know the product has gotten to the hands of the customers, okay. So if the customer now detects that the products are bad. The reputation of the company or the business it is at stake. It can tarnish the integrity of the company. Okay, so you have to be very careful in order to avoid external failure cost. So it will now result to expensive warranty repair cost. In worst case, may result into legal action. So the cost incurred on all these. So in above example, external failure costs are lost sales due to bad customers experience records warranty expenses and repairs cost of customer service departments in handling complaints warranty claim and records okay so we have been able to look at quality costs okay divided into two conformance costs all right so we have, uh, let's quickly look to so that. We have uh, conformance 
conformance costs. So classification is classified into two, don't forget, conformance costs and non-conformance costs. Then we have the prevention. The conformance cost is further classified into prevention cost and appraisal cost. The non-conformance cost, internal failure cost and external failure cost. So I'm going to stop the lecture here. So watch out for the next video where we are probably will be will be looking at a practice question, all right, on uh, quality cost. So students should take note of that. I remain your lecturer, Mr. Shesi George, popularly known as the Georgian theory. Okay, that's Georgian. All right. So trust me. I wish you best of luck, and always remember to remain safe. Bye for now.